Hey everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and this is game two between the Infected Solution deck, which I'm playing, and the Metalcraft deck from the Deck Techs. So we lost the last game, so we're going to go ahead and go for the first one. Let's see if we can get a better hand than we did. Oh uh, yeah, I think this hand looks a little bit better. See if he's keeping. Alright. Oh, wait. I don't draw. Play this on the next turn. We can start working on him. We've got this. This might, it's probably going to be a lot better than last game. Actually, I should have played that the first turn. That was a mistake. <laughs> but it's okay because we've got that swamp coming. So we'll lay this down. And then probably cast this and then that. <clears throat> See, I don't return the axe, and then the axe is going to come back down. Oh, wait. Yep. Dude, he's got a blocker now. So that's probably not the best bet. Let's see. We'll play this and try to get some more damage in there. And we could. Hmm. Do I want to do that? See, so next turn can make him big enough for to worry about it. Eh. Go ahead and pass and see what he does. I'm not going to play this yet until we get enough lands for this. So at least one more land. But we'll probably want to play this first so that we can try to make him big enough to do some damage. Not to worry about losing him. The basilisk color. Of course, since we're doing poison damage, the life link doesn't matter too much. on the ornithopter. So now two two twos.
and we're taking two. Let's see if we can't get a land here. Nope. More spells we can't play. Um, I guess we go ahead and attack with these. Two. See if he blocks or not. And he took the poison counters. Uh, I don't think we want to play this yet. Because it needs to be used as a surprise. Um, so we'll just go post here. And we'll just play the rest. Fortunately, these guys don't untap. But if we get a land we could equip and then do the damage and then switch it over. Do the damage again. It's got two counters right now. I don't know how many lands are in this deck. Let's see. Ten. Eighteen. Twenty-two. So my deck might actually need more lands could be part of our problem. <coughs> because since we got all these that cost four and five, but only twenty two lands, it's gonna be kinda hard to ever play them. Especially since we need to equip so maybe lands instead of the trinket mage would be a good choice. Four. Probably don't need four of those. Probably go with three or two of those. Because we keep seeming to get getting those. So he searched for Basilisk. No. Sort of body and mind. And he's attacking for four. Alright. Still have not got a land. Uh, that guy doesn't fly. I guess he might as well go ahead and attack. See if he blocks. So that we can take him out and do damage. And he'll get a poison counter. And we'll play another Plague Stinger. If we have another land, we be in a lot better shape right now because we could use this. So I do feel like more lands would be good. Probably gonna have to block this turn, though we don't really want to. So that'll stop the damage and make him lose one counter. 
And then we're going to take two. It's a minus count. All right. So he's swinging for seven next turn. Did he get a land? Um, if he played this, let's see, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven will take us to five, so he'd be dead the next turn. I don't think we really have any other choice, though. Dead. So it's going to take more turns than we have. If I equip this, uh, so I guess we'll just attack first. play this, and I hope we can get an extra point of damage in there somewhere. Because <laughs> this will put him at 7 poison counters, but we're going to be at too low of a life to live. If he keeps the puck untapped, then we're just taking that damage anyway. So seven. And we lost two of our vibrant swipes, which is probably what we needed. See how that actually might have won us the game if we had those. because we would have done 5 damage, which would drop him to 1. So it would have been close, but not quite. So not looking good for us. I don't really think there's anything that we can draw that's going to get us out of this. And there's a eight. And a go. So yeah. It's pretty much just got a block and it's over. Don't see any way to get out of this. Equip that, just two damage, not enough. We can't attack and do that. And we're just dead in the air. Yep. So, looks like the Metalcraft did better. Um, I'd say it's because. Um, Things are too expensive. We don't have enough lands. Like we waited too long to try to get the lands for this. Um, I don't know. I think that's the biggest issue. Is land problems. Of course, didn't actually draw a um, what is it? Trick mage, so wouldn't have drawn a land anyway. But <coughs> I don't know seems a little bit too slow for its own good. But we're going to go ahead and play the Metalcraft deck against an Eldrazi to Green deck. So that's the end of this video, and I'll see you then.